right. So, you want to go study in the United Kingdom, yes, because you want to go to further your education in the UK. And before you go study in the UK, you need to get a UK study visa. And when applying for UK study visa, there are some required documents or some important core documents that you need to have before you can get to apply or before you can be certified of a UK study visa. So in this video, I'm going to cover those important documents so you get to know which document is necessary so you don't miss out when applying. If this is your first time on this channel, so a big welcome. And if this is not your first time, I say welcome back. Okay, don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. My name is Mains Biju here on the Visa Point Travel Channel and jumping in straight to those documents. So the first document on my list here is the is your passport, yes. Is your passport and your passport is one of the first most important document you need to get ready, okay? And you must provide your original valid passport, okay, for your visa application, okay? And you must ensure that your passport has enough validity to cover the duration of the program. And okay, let me explain this your program is running for one year, and that means the duration of validity of your passport should be between one year, one month, one year, two months, should exceed. The duration of your program okay it must be it must cover the duration and have a little extension okay so ensure that your passport has or covers the duration of your program and just give space for that so the second required document is a completed visa application form so you can't apply for a visa you can't get a visa without completing an application form okay and you must submit the correct online student visa application form okay which you should have previously filled in the uk study um in the visa application page yes online so in the visa application page online you will see the visa application form and ensure that you complete it and you have it ready before you apply for uk study visa so the third document is your cast letter which is a confirmation of acceptance of studies Okay, and this is a letter that is given by your intended university, and you must have a cast letter which must be issued by the university you're applying for. Okay, you're applying to yes. So once you have met all your conditions, you've given your cast letter, then you are cleared to get a study visa once you have your cast letter ready, which you get from your intended university. So moving on to the fourth document is the financial evidence and this is a broad aspect i'm going to be talking about because it really just covers a lot of things and this entails basically your bank statement okay your bank statement or if it's if it's if you have a sponsor yes a sponsor you get the bank statement of the sponsor okay and or if your sponsor can't provide a bank statement you should try to get the money in your account okay so that once you get a bank statement of your own account it's showing that but there's no evidence that you have the financial capability or financial capacity to take you through that program okay and also you need an official sponsorship letter if you have a sponsor you need an official sponsorship letter and if the cash is in your account or any account the cash is you should make sure that the cash is liquid and accessible not that it's in a blocked account or the account can't be retrieved from okay, it's going to cause a lot of issue okay so financial evidence is the next important document you need to have your sponsorship letter your bank statement everything you can get on financial evidence make sure you have it ready before applying so to the fifth document is your academic qualification definitely you are going for a uk study visa and you need to submit previous academic qualification in those cases um and um it just entails your results your certificate your university transcript if you are going for a master's program definitely you need your university transcript to apply and you just submit it to the university that you're applying for so your academic qualification is the next important document all right get all qualification that is needed as possible so you don't get denied your uk study visa so the sixth one is the evidence of tuition and accommodation payment all right they need to be an evidence okay, that you've paid for the school you are intending to go study or you have the capacity to pay for it so there must be an evidence for that tuition okay and you'll be asked to provide evidence okay for this to show that you can pay or you've paid the school fees for the university you are looking to apply for 
all right and um also you need an evidence of accommodation so you know that when you get over there you have a place you are going to stay okay so you just they will be sure that there's a place you are going to stay all right so you need to have that your evidence of accommodation payment ready before applying so you don't get denied so the seventh important document is your insurance yes your insurance is very important and ensure you have your insurance documents available yes ensure you have your insurance documents available contact your travel agent assistant or your visa processing assistant to help you make sure that you have your insurance documents available because it's an important document that is needed for your travel so the eighth set of document is the tuberculosis test or the tb test so tuberculosis test is needed for uk study visa and you can just um schedule an appointment on ihs ihs is an um, immigration health so charge so you just schedule an appointment online and you just go in for the test i think it's around um 100 110 dollars depending on the rate so just schedule an appointment and go in for the test because you need your tb test when applying for UK study visa. So these are the core eight important documents that are needed for your UK study visa. Ensure you have each document ready and available. Anyone that's missing, just ensure to get it so you don't get denied a uh, UK study visa. So my name is Miju, and in case you have further inquiries or further questions, just click the link in the description and I'll be ready to answer any of your questions. So I remain to come your way next time. My name is Miju. And bye for now.